<laughs> Hello and welcome to the Undirected Podcast. We are your hosts, Drake, Josh, and Carlos. Today we'll be talking about our first episode and what to expect in the future of this podcast. For the first three episodes, we're going to talk about ourselves and let you guys have an idea of who you're going to be sleeping with for, for the foreseeable future. All right, well, let's jump into it. Did you say who you're going to be sleeping with for the uh, foreseeable future? Absolutely, because <laughs> when you guys go to sleep, you can hear our soft voices <laughs> talking to you and kind of seeing how we're going to be. Um, All right, so, cool. Drake. So we're that podcast. <laughs> we are that podcast for right now. So, Drake, we brought you on today to talk about your e-commerce store and how that's going. Yeah, so it's been going on. It's going been going, it's been going pretty good. How old you are? I am 21 now. I just turned 21 in November. So you're 21. How much did you make yesterday? What's your store? Yesterday I made 900 and sixty dollars. And today, so far, I've done 700, which is more at the time I did right now. I will probably break a thousand dollars by midnight. This motherfucker makes more money than I did this entire <laughs> fucking month. I yep. worked my dick off for a whole <laughs> month, and you made more money sitting on your ass. Yeah, actually, I got so I actually was feeling sick. Josh texted me, and we were talking about uh, domains and yeah. trying to get some other uh, work and all stuff settled up. And I didn't respond until later. I slept all day. I was I was actually sick. You were literally sick with the fucking mumps. And, <laughs> and, and, and the mumps. Yeah, making money. The, the mumps. The mumps. Yeah. The but yeah, mumps. I woke up and I actually checked my store at seven a.m. and I had four hundred dollars in sales. You're pissing me off. I know, right? Like, fuck the off. podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're in the wrong line of business. Mm. So, so how did you get into e-commerce? What what made you interested yeah, in making yeah. money like this? Yeah. So. Um, this was back when I first, my freshman year of college, I finally, I just, I just went to college. Um, I was 18 years old and I was walking on campus and I saw a post on someone on, from someone on Instagram and the post literally was saying, uh, just talking about Uber, Lyft, um, Airbnb and all these companies that were making money without owning anything like Airbnb doesn't own a single house. They That's yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right about that. Airbnb just how do they work? Exactly. Like the so I've been Airbnb. I, it's, I, it's I've done just, it before. Yeah. It's, how does it work? It's like if Josh listed, listed his house, say for like if like I was going, 100 bucks like a hundred bucks if night. I was going on okay. a trip, yeah. nobody would be there. I might as well list it as like a rental property for two weeks. They pay for that, and then I come come back as they're leaving. Oh, yeah. so you're you're just renting out your own property essentially. You're not even like you don't. You're, you're getting. Not. You're paying to house sit. Okay, yeah. so how does Airbnb yeah. make profit off that? What, what, what is so it? They, take they take a percentage. percentage yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, so it's like, it's like you does. selling something on eBay. eBay takes a percentage. Is it, is it cheaper than hotels? Get mega fucking cheap. Really? Yeah, because you, get like, you get like a house too. Fucking hell. Yeah, you get like a nice yeah. thing. You get a house. You get a nice place. Also, I saw some, some new people are actually doing some new things. They're adding like bed and breakfasts on there. Holy shit. So it's like 100 bucks a night, um, and you literally get someone to serve you, like breakfast and shit. Like serve? Like serve. Okay, so so after you found your commerce at the college, after you got the idea, how did you really get into it? What, what made yeah, you yeah. So take the idea? After that, I then, um, with a guy named Devin, a great guy, he taught me everything I, I, I know about business, along with my dad, uh, just growing up around him, too. Uh, Devin, actually, we created a company called Bumblebox at the time. Okay, what's Bumblebox? I think you've told me, but yeah, yeah. I don't so really I, know yeah, what it is. So, so. Bumblebox was... Um, a social media agency, content creation, and we wanted to do marketing. The thing is, we never actually did much marketing. Uh, it was all only content. Uh, Devin pretty much led the thing. I didn't know shit about what I was doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Every day, I remember sitting there, and I was like, I was looking for stuff to do. Yeah. I didn't know what the fuck to do. I didn't know what yeah. I was doing. I don't know how to do any of that. The social media stuff? Like, you just no. you made the account? What do you mean? No. So, getting clients for a service. Oh, okay. So it's a lot different. I, it was a learning experience. I never ran a company before. Never even started one. And in one month, I went from knowing nothing to knowing exactly step by step how to do a co- company just because of him. Sure. Uh, thankful hmm. to him, I it, it leapt. It, it made me leap into that. And so then I had a huge interest in marketing, and I loved marketing. Yeah, loved it. So I started researching marketing, reading a lot about it, starting getting books. It just, I became addicted to it. And then when that happened, I then found a th- thing called drop shipping, and yeah. it was with Shopify at the time. And I remember there's this guy named Cody at Oklahoma State University. That's where I was at at the time. He saw me working on it in his dorm room, and I just left my dorm room to go hang out with him. 
and a couple other guys and great people, uh, great people by the way. And I went and hung out with him, and he was like, "Wait a minute, oh, is that is that Shopify?" And he he knew he knew what it was. Was that me? It was my first night ever learning about it. I was watching videos about it. Mm-hmm. It was on Shopify. And now, what's drop shipping? So like, drop for shipping the, for the people that yeah don't yeah. Know. So drop shipping is you sell a product and then you mm-hmm. purchase it and send it to them. So so it's like they they purchase it through the website. You're just fulfilling it. You don't have your hands on the product or anything. Yeah, so you never see the product. You never touch it. You don't – nothing. The only time you see the product is through an image when you're ordering it. Gotcha. That's make it simple. So it's all online. Like none of this is like – like you're not going to get shipped to your house. Nope. Like, okay, I'm going to mm-hmm. nope, nope. ship this shit to So okay. it's like – so take these mics, for example. Yeah. Say these mics are 20 bucks from your supplier. Yeah. Uh, Suppliers, it could range Sponsored from- by HyperX, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly not true. Definitely not true. All right. Okay, so, yeah. So, you take your supplier, which is, there's so many of them. So, my, that's a whole different topic. And then you take the mic. It might not be called HyperX. It might not even, it most likely isn't HyperX. It's sometimes not even branded. Just like and, Chinese shit or like... Yeah, because you got to think, most of, these, most of these like mics, most yeah. mics, they're manufactured somewhere. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. so that's the thing about it. It's like, you know this more than anyone. It's like, most of the products you buy, <coughs> it's just a brand name. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? yeah. Like, you're buying a pay, brand. You're paying for the brand. Like, if you guys ever go on Instagram, you guys can actually see, like, the Instagram ads. Like, buy these. They're not called AirPods. They're called, like, Earbud Air or something. Yeah, I sold mm-hmm. the shit out of those. <laughs> <laughs> They're literally just Get them for pods. They're five dollars each, by the way. Just not branded. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, yeah. that's and, it. And yeah. it's cheap as hell. Yeah. So Apple makes you know a shit ton of money out of you guys or out of well, you pay YouTube. a hell of a lot of money for the Nike or the little. Yeah, Apple it's just a logo, yeah. and people don't seem that's to realize it. that. Like when you when people say, "Oh, it's just a logo you're paying for," you're literally just paying for the logo. It's yeah, you're the right. same product. It's the same mm-hmm. item by the same company that made it in mm-hmm. China, just labeled something else. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so uh, that's something people don't really seem to realize is that when you buy, let's say my Samsung, right? I bought is actually Korean. I don't know. I think it's Korean. So the Samsung is Korean. The case for it probably is made in China, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's called the Samsung case, so it's fifty dollars compared. Yeah, the markup mm-hmm. in in China. If you bought it, I don't know, in Hong Kong or somewhere, it might be ten five dollars. You know, you're just paying for the fucking Less markup. That's all it is. Even, yeah, it's, it's cheap as yeah, shit. It's over cheap there. as shit to make because they have so many fucking factors, dude. But yeah. you know, when you got close to two billion people to make your shit. It's fucking insane. <laughs> let's be honest. So, yeah. yeah. So that's where that's what drop shipping is. And so then I went from there, and I remember my first store name, and I was creating it. I remember trying to find it. The store name was Trendy Emporium. Oh, god, <laughs> nice. That's cringy. Yeah, it was bad. It was really bad, actually. And what was it sorry. called at the time? The Trendy Emporium. Like, so that was the name of it. What that you, was my first store I ever what created. What did you sell on it? So I can't even remember. Trendy I, stuff. No, <laughs> I tried finding trendy stuff. So it was my first store. I actually didn't make a sale on my first store. Really? Wow. No, I th- I failed forty, almost fifty stores, almost fifty. Holy Wait, are you serious? Shit. Yeah, before I even Whoa. done. I didn't any, even know that. Yeah, no. so no there was many nights, and at the time, I, at the time I wasn't working a ton at the moment. But while in school and all that, so I actually had a schedule: Monday nights, Wednesday nights, and Friday nights. I didn't go to bed. Really? I stayed wow. up every night working and learning. Was this during and college? Failing constantly. Yeah, this is this is gotcha. while I was eighteen during so what, college. Oh, was that the first year you went to Oklahoma and all that? Yeah, yeah. So you went to uh, OSU. OSU, yeah. OSU, and you, and not to say like this is your fault, like you failed out, right? No. Or, you, so what happened? No, I actually had leave? the best grades I ever had in school. So why there. did you leave OSU? Um, at the time, um, Bumblebox was something I really wanted to pursue. Okay. And we did, and then I kind of found my love for drop shipping and e- my own. Forms of marketing, um, so that is why um, me and the owner decided to. We didn't split ways. He just does his own thing. Gotcha. gotcha. That makes okay. sense because he's very. He's actually really smart. But <laughs> yeah, we just do our own. We just do our own things now. We're still okay. great friends. Yeah. I'm actually gonna go visit with him when he's back in town. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, so from there. Trinity and Porum, I didn't. I, I failed almost 50 stores. I think the number was like 47, 48. Um, but you gotta think I I bought domains for each one, but I was also learning each time, and I think it took me until twenty something stores to even even start like profiting. Anything. Really, yeah. twenty stores. Yeah, so, so that's like twenty. How, mu- how much did it cost each time, like to set up a store between domain and all all that other stuff? Combined? And ads. Yeah, at least a hundred dollars. Minimum hundred dollars. So, so that's what two thousand dollars. 
Yeah, I would yeah. say you probably lost around two thousand dollars before, before you got to rain. Fucking hell. Well, here's the thing, oh, which is some people it's not crazy. But so some people it's not. It's really not. But when, when you're 18, 18, 18 that, that's 19, a lot. That's a lot. Especially of when money. you're trying yeah. to pay for college. And then and you know stuff. you got to think also that I'm sitting here, I'm working my ass off. There's sometimes like I wouldn't go to sleep. I'm working you know 13, 14 hours, mm-hmm. maybe more. I can tell you have like those permanent dark. Yeah, I, I barely slept last night. You see them right that they're purple. They're just infinite. I mean, I slept a lot today, but I just I've been sick. But mumps, mumps, mumps. Oh, so the mumps story. Um, so <laughs> we'll say recently we live in. What should you tell now? Are Fuck you, it, yeah. So no, and no. we live in Arkansas. I don't know if you guys, we didn't say that yet, but we live in uh, Northwest Arkansas, and there's a currently a big outbreak of mumps in the University of Arkansas is, is and surrounding big, colleges. Like how many people? Is no, it? it's really not that big because we're I've vaccinated. Like, I've only heard of. A I couple heard it was people. like ten people. That's not big. But like you know how big the University of Arkansas who have is? mumps. That's not a, a disease big outbreak. that's basically eradicated. Yeah, but that's not. A that's big like outbreak. saying people have a fucking arts that have the black plague. That's, that's like, not a big outbreak either. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, it's, but it's weird, it's but it's not like weird. A, like it sound when you say it, it's a big outbreak. It makes it sound so like so. NWAC and U of A are currently suffering from fucking the mumps outbreak, which I guess people who don't vaccinate their fucking kids are anti-vaxxers suffering. Anti vaxxers, anti vaxxers, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, it's weird because like. People don't seem to realize anti-vaccination has been a thing for a very yeah. long time. Since it's, it's fucking, not new. It's been since like since vaccinations were a thing. There's been anti-vaxxers. Oh yeah. It's not. It's not like a new concept where people are like, "Don't vax your kids. You're gonna give them AIDS and autism." No, no, no. It's been a thing forever. It's because you're supposed to pray about Jesus over them, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jesus will fix all. <laughs> Jesus, take my mumps You away. wouldn't have gotten mumps if you just prayed a little harder. <laughs> yeah. Well, they weren't praying hard enough. <laughs> First, well, take them knees in that fucking ground, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my thing. Here's my thing, right? It's crazy because it's like, it's not only affecting places like here, right? But it's the biggest, like, Portions of people who suffer from like these diseases that have been eradicated, yeah, are religious communities, and not just in the South where everyone thinks, oh, the Bible Belt, duh. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. We're talking like California, New York, Illinois. We're talking about giant minority groups that don't vaccinate. You know, Somali, the Somali, like Somali uh, <coughs> groups, Somali. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you would call them, communities. Somali communities don't vaccinate their kids. There's a portion that don't, mm-hmm. right? Do they not do it because? They don't have access or because they don't believe it? I think it's a religious thing. Okay. It's, it's a cultural or religious thing. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but um, let's actually search it up. So I know that's a thing, and I know, I know uh, Orthodox Jews are another group that don't vaccinate their kids. Um, I did not brain. know. That. Yeah, so <laughs> that's the reason they have these huge break, uh, outbreaks in these communities. They just don't believe in it. And, and like you have to respect their views, I guess. You have to respect um, what they're doing and all. But at the same time, we, we have to understand that it's like as, as a society, we have to vaccinate our kids. This yeah. is not a time to be like, ooh, my God says I can't do it, or ooh, my, my child's going to get AIDS or autism. It's not a fucking <laughs> ooh, it's not a thing. AIDS. It's not a thing, boys. Like, you don't get autism from fucking vaccinations. That's true. Let's yeah. be honest. You get, from, you get autism from having autism. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, I think you're, bo- you're right. You're born with it. Are yeah. you actually born with it? Are you Can born, you develop aren't you born with it? autism? I think so. But uh, vaccinations are just a thing that affects so many people. So that's what like people need to understand like that's the issue essentially. Mm-hmm. So anyway, back to entrepreneurship. Oh yeah, entrepreneurship. <laughs> Let's go back to this. Back to the original topic. That's what we talk about. That we do bounce around, which is going to be fun we, we on, other bounce, yeah. on other topics. On other topics, it's yeah, going to be gonna it's going to be fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. So let that's, me let's see where we j- jump back off. Oh yeah. So that's with Shopify drop shipping, and I failed countless times. Um, and the hard part too with entrepreneurship is you got to realize that you're alone. Yeah, I bet that's that's so one like of the all those nights I'm working and all those nights, um, not just all these things, and then you, you just start like kind of drifting off from people. Yeah, because since you're working so much alone, and you just start drifting off to where, like, you don't want to like be alone, but you are alone. Most of the time, okay. So that's like the that's the roughest part, and especially for me. Like I love people, and I used to have to be surrounded by people, and now I I actually like start thinking to myself like, wow, I really miss those nights where I was alone, or where I was staying up all night and actually trying to do something, and so I catch myself thinking about that uh, every now and then. So it's it's like it's like if most college students who understand this, if you're not in college yet, you will. Um, you're alone for a lot of it. It's not like yeah. when you're growing up. Right now, as a kid, I guess if you're in high school, listen to this, or you're younger, whatever it is, 
you are surrounded during school by your mm-hmm. classmates you have people you talk to it's not like in college where like you might have classmates but you might never say a fucking word to them you know i've done mm-hmm. i've done yeah. a college for no two, that's three true years, yeah, yeah in high school you know you like eating lunch alone was you just didn't do it didn't in do college it. that's everybody's eating and lunch. well that's because lunch in high school alone, i mean you go in mostly to classes yeah. with the same yeah, group of yeah. people that's so true. over time you'll naturally become friends but college every every person's every bouncing person's around basically so even if you too, make yeah. a friend you're yeah. going to be in at most two classes if you're yeah. saying if, on, if, on the for same a, the for a semester path. yeah like exactly. not even for like the full yeah. year for a semester and then yeah. you'll never see them again unless you're friends you know and i remember also like while in school too while doing all this like you also got to try to prioritize and it's really hard when you're 18 you fresh you fresh go to college and it's like the party partying partying I might party. <laughs> cannot fucking talk parties and all everything yeah. you gotta like you just you can't go to those like you can but you, what you can if you want to pass college if like that's your, your goal yeah right? yeah if, if so, you don't have anything else in life you just want to be social and, and just get a degree yeah sure go to parties you know if you can panel if you can balance it yeah, uh, but if you if you want to be something more like I think I just... went to two my entire time. I remember both of them. I was like, I just I didn't have fun. I'd rather be home working on something. Well, I went to the parties in college. Yeah. I didn't know anyone there, so I was like, this is fucking dumb. I just left both times early because it's like it's like you don't really know anyone. It's kind of cringe. I guess if you're a, I guess if you have a sorority, sororities and fraternities I think probably that's help. Basically, what those are there for? Just to get friends, right? To just get to have friends. the family structure, yeah. familial structure in college, which makes sense. Yeah. Um, Everything has its own perks and benefits. You just have to really outweigh. You, well, like, what do you want to do? Like for me, yeah, because some people are perfectly happy coasting through college, going to parties, and then afterwards working in whatever field they got the degree in, mm-hmm. and that's yeah. Fine. Like, here's the thing: when I was 18. I told myself I would rather die than work a, a job when I got out of college. And all right, don't you have a job right now? Well, yeah, but I'm still in college. Okay. <laughs> so have you got we'll, we'll hold you to that. Yeah. Well, like, no, I'm going to work a job, obviously, but I want to make it something that I own. I've always been that way ever since you I was, you want I was your a kid. Own boss, right? Yeah, that's yeah, your, that's your goal. Okay. Yeah. So I want to be my own boss. I want to have like you know have all that stuff, and you know, obviously in the future. But here's the thing with e-commerce. E-commerce isn't going, isn't going to give me that. What do you mean? It's all online. Why do I like? I don't need an but office. But you don't or have anything. a boss. No, yeah, yeah. So it gives me that, but I want an, a fun office. I want to have a bunch of employees one day, but obviously it's gonna be from. A but different if your store gets big enough with how much time it's taking for you right now, if it gets big enough, at some point, couldn't you hire an yeah, assistant yeah. So, and start building infrastructure? Exactly, it? exactly. So that's actually what I've been looking at some today, as when I go to scale it up in the mm-hmm. next two months, my goal is to start doing six, seven thousand dollars a day. Yeah. You're happy, right? You're happy doing Yeah, so I'm actually energy. very happy okay, with it. Yeah. So that's the thing also. You got to find something you're happy about and willing to put in the hours. That, you know, while doing, while doing this, like I was 18 doing that. I just now, I'm 21 now. It took me three years to find just a glimmer of success right now where I'm making money. Three years of literally failing just constantly. Classes and love lives and social anxiety and... Well, just like, well, yeah, you got to think, like, social, I didn't, I, I, I almost cut out my entire social life. I just, really? I, wow. Yeah, like, I, I told myself, I literally, wow. ha- I put on my whiteboard, what am I willing to lose to have what I want? Your left nut? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> no joke, I, I, would, I literally put. If someone's like, I'll give you a company to lose your left nut, would you do it? Yes. Dude, good lord! I wouldn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe it depends don't. on the company. Not give I guess. you. Not like give you. What company we're talking? Well, I'm not saying give you a company because, like, I'm just saying. <laughs> so I was like, hey, my whole day. I don't care if I get Apple. Are you serious? <laughs> no, an Apple. And Apple. It's a fucking Apple. Same deal. Take my whole dick. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the Apple. <laughs> no, fair. like, I, I got to the point to where I was willing to do just about anything to make it work. I came up the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So, um, then, you know, it just, it, during my journey through it, I've seen a lot of people quit and just think that it's a get rich quick scheme or it takes a little bit of work. I've been at it for three damn years and just now starting to pick up. 
Damn. Yeah. So you, you, you had see, three years of experience. And you everything. see a lot yeah. of people on YouTube that like those ads that play before the videos. They're like, yeah. Like, just with one computer, you can make sixty k in within thirty I'm days. I'm gonna tell you how to make like sixteen thousand dollars in a month. I think month. that I think right that probably out. turns a lot of people off to it as well. It does. Well, yeah. Cringy, well, it also you know? it, it's cringy, it's but then cringy. people look at that and they're like, oh, everybody who's doing it is obviously a scammer. Yeah. So it's obviously a scam. Yeah. It's a legit business model. It is. It's, it it's a legit a business model. And it does take a lot of work. And like honestly, I've been like documenting the process right now. I'm getting a lot of DMs from people that apparently I used to go to school with. I didn't know who the fuck they were. What do they want? For you? Are, they, are they, they like, hey, can you like? Yeah. So I've been getting business? asked them okay. to, you know, hey, teach me or how are you doing this or all that. And if you come to me with a like, they, I I respond back to every single one of them and I tell them exactly the business model and how it works. We're about to find out if he actually does. Hold up. No, you want to DM me? <laughs> I'm DM me right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I, I answer back to him. And I tell them, like, how, like, what you do. And one of them was like, oh, well, you think, it, like, I could just do this in, like, you know, like, 30 minutes, an hour a day. You know what I respond back no. with? Fuck no. no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, you like, don't realize, like, how much. You can't even do, like, And here, I even day. told them, like, look, you're going to do this? Expect to fail for 10 years before it even picks up. I got lucky to have this shit work at three. The guy that teaches me, he's built for seven years. He failed for seven years straight before he even got to the point where I'm doing Damn, stuff right now. That's crazy. Yeah. Can so, you imagine? Fucking hell. So I can't because I It takes time. Yeah, I've wasted seven years already. And take, I mean, it, it takes time. Yeah, could you fucking imagine? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. working yeah. your ass off for seven years yeah, and I'm getting kidding. nothing like, out of it? Yeah, that's like, that's, and to me, like, I've wasted, like, a semester, fail a class. Yeah. That's, like, three months. That, yeah. Four months. Most I've ever seven wasted seven years. Yeah, like six six months. I yeah, can't yeah. imagine years left. But also, I can't imagine a fucking. But year. also, That's I came insane. to the con- con- the conclusion I suck ass at school. Dude, like I, I cannot dude. pass. I'm, I'm fucking trash. Yeah. I have taken so many classes in college. I'm sh- I cannot pass some bitches. I I I, I do more. G- I pass more than I fail for sure. Oh yeah, I still same fail. Uh, by the way, if this is cut out, uh, we were talking about. Not illegal things <laughs> with <laughs> passing college I think that's classes. Illegal, to be fair, is it technically illegal? Like no, unless they catch you. And I have been caught oh once, my God. and I talk so my way out of it. Someone. Okay, that's actually it's one thing. Yeah. 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 So that's actually one skill that I would definitely want to say Murder? that has helped me. Not that <laughs> yeah. the one skill that has definitely helped me a lot throughout True. my entire life is the way I'm able to talk. Okay, gotcha. I literally cheated my ass off. Okay, on one no, thing. wait, 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 back up, back up. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna don't say. let Logan hear this. <laughs> she's gonna fucking freak. No, she knows. I teach her how. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally, she's like, "Hey, what do I say to this person?" I'm like, "You say these exact words, it'll work. I guarantee it." Pull your tits out and just hope. No, <laughs> dude, girls do have it easy that way, though. I'm not. Let me be honest. Right? Fucking hell, man. But no, like so. the way I can like communicate and talk, it. Like, I was watching a show, and it had to, I actually had to do a college project, and I actually did this. I forgot the, a movie name, but it was about a guy that could literally talk. And he, it's a real-life movie. It, it's like a true story. He talked and was able – he got, like, hot checks. Catch Me If You Can? Yeah, Catch Me If You Can. By yeah, amazing yeah, movie. Great. And so the thing that I identified with him with was how he was able to talk to people and really change – their outcomes. Their outcomes yeah. of the events yeah. by just words. Yeah, and, and that has helped that's a me more. Great skill to have. And, and I get it from. I'm pretty sure I get it from my mom. We're identical to it. Her same attitude and everything. It, we're identical. I, you know, I actually have to really thank my. You know, my parents for helping me out so much too. Is the fact that I literally grew up around business because my mom and dad. That's all they've done, and that's what they do. And that's something people uh, don't seem to. Um, it's, it's something that growing up, if you don't really have it there, you're not going to understand what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I, uh, I grew up like, in a poor neighborhood, mm-hmm. right? I didn't know what success was until I moved here, right? We, Yo, live, same. we live in a much nicer yeah. building. We, uh, we see like nice cars every day. But in Texas, it was like, it was, I want to say, the, it wasn't ghetto, but it was a poor neighborhood, right? right. It wasn't a great place. It was I lived in West Memphis, it was ghetto. So for us, like, being cool was like getting in trouble and like, fucking beating people up, like getting in dumb shit. But now you come here, it's like you see success everywhere. Yeah. You see fucking mansions and shit like that. So you're like, okay, this is what success is. This is what I want to be one day, not not some gangster fucking hoodlum. So, right, right. Like for you, your dad was an entrepreneur, right? He's been an entrepreneur. Uh, so we worked at Walmart for a long time, from the time he was a teenager. And then I think he started making his own companies when he was like 30, 30 early right. 30s. But awesome. he's 45 now. So for the past like 15 years, yeah, he's been starting company after company after company. So, Drake, you have what a. Ten year, ten year lead on your on your dad, on his dad, on your dad. More than that, More yeah. Than that. So 
Yeah. Just don't oh, be I think everybody <laughs> like has their own like their own path and their own journey. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that honestly that doesn't work is if you just talk about it and do research. So I also see many people doing that. Like people are going through these courses and just writing notes on it. Just do it. Those are the people start. that put entrepreneur in their bio before they do anything. Well, that's true. Yeah. He's a whole entrepreneur. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, like don't shout out Trevor Wallace. Um, so you're right about that. Like people need to realize like it's important to. Put it's important to do. Yeah. Because here's the thing: one, it will never be perfect. Two, you're gonna fail. It's not gonna work. I'm sorry. Like if you don't, and constructive criticism is big. I used to suck at that, and now you, you still do. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you're good at it. You're good at it. You're like good. if, like if I tell you, you gotta sucks, understand. You, you, take care of it. Yeah. you gotta understand that you are going to fail constantly before it even gets worse. I mean, before okay. it gets better. And I don't know. That's just what is people that, need to realize. Well, that's, that's a lesson for life too. Just like yeah, that is also really, yeah, real, realizing true. that like. Yeah. In life, like, you fail all the time. We fail all the time. Oh, yeah. You failed. I failed. Mm-hmm. You failed. Like, I failed. I failed out of college. You know, I failed at Well, not yet. Hey, fuck you. Not well, yet. okay. <laughs> correction, 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 correction. Yes, I have. And no, I haven't, right? I failed out of my first four-year university, and then I went to community to right. make it up. Uh, we all have our problems in life, but, like, if, as long as you don't give up, as long as you don't, like, one day be like, fuck it, I'm going to be a manager at a Best Buy. You know what I mean? A little yeah. shade there. Um, by the way, we're at Best Buy. Um, so, like, as long as you don't fail and just give up on your dreams just for com- to be comfort. That's one of the know? dangerous things, I feel like, is because in, in the world we live in today, you can always get another job. So it's really, really easy to settle. It's really easy mm-hmm. to be like, oh, I don't want to do shit. And, fuck and, that. In, and yeah. in retail, I mean, it's not hard to get promoted. Because once you've been there a certain amount of time, they, like, basically have to promote yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You can't be like, if you're, I mean, well, we know some people who have been there for like we don't 10 years. We, we can't talk about any names, but uh, if you're bald and have some glasses and a little older, you're, uh, you've been there for 15 years, you're still a salesman. Shit. I just so, got, yeah. Yeah. So I just got a message that literally said, if you do $10,000 in sales this month, your Amazon account can be shut down. Why? Because... Think about it. If Amazon's such a tight service, they, it's it's hard. I actually messaged. Um, I actually had a guy message me today. Said, "Hey, how long did it take you to get approved on Amazon?" Now, granted, I did have to post that I've been doing e-commerce, some results and stuff, and to really swindle some things on that. He's been trying for two years. Damn. I just like he submitted just a, to get approved. Just to get approved. That's crazy. How much does it cost? Like, do you have to pay to get approved? Or no, it's like-, like an application process, oh. and it's hard. It's pro- When I got approved, literally, I didn't believe it because it took me 24 hours. Okay. But I did have – I did post some stuff in there that showed why I should be approved. Yeah. And everything. You were like, okay, you were like, I'm young. I have background. I know what I'm doing. I'm not crazy. I, yeah, I, and I, so I they, work on they have yeah. to have – Amazon is strict, very strict. So like if you make a certain number in sales, they hold your, they hold your money, they hold everything. And if you close, here's the here's the here's how they get you. So if you if they hold their, your money too, and they literally put in the thing, you can't stop selling your products. If you do, they'll shut you down for life. So because here's they, the thing: do they not they, want your store to get they beyond do. a certain growth point? So they or? do. So after one month, so here's the thing. They don't think people can sell a bunch in one month of their products. So if you do – now, some people do $20,000 the first month and are fine. But under the radar, you want to try to say under 10000 because with Amazon bot, they were like, okay, wait, this guy might be scamming people. Uh, that so, they, yeah. so after your first month, you have a one-month thing. What I – so like, it's not like, so like, let's say like two weeks on the road, you've, just, you've got like $10,000, and you're like, all right. Deuces, you just made ten grand, and, and then you and you don't ship out the product. You don't ship out, okay. And then you get so in one month. Looks terrible. Here's the thing, and Amazon's very strict. I like I got a message from my seller today, and they give you a time limit. If you don't respond, your Amazon account is shut down. Really? Wow. Zero tolerance policy. They don't have a return policy is low. You have a two point five percent return cancel return and cancel order policy. So if you're above that, they they shut down your account. They shut down your account. Really. So now for brands, I'm sure it's different. I'm sure it's different. But for individual sellers like me, it is strict. So like, 
I don't use Amazon often, but when I do, I see like it says like buy shit from Amazon. Is that what you would be, or was it like? So okay, yeah. So there's that's a good question. There's a what I will eventually be. Yes. So if it says uh, buy and ship from Amazon, no, that's Amazon. Uh, Amazon sells Their that product company. itself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then you have things that like buy from um, Flag Incorporated, but ship by Amazon. That's called FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon. That's where I take. You know, a thousand pieces of one product and send it to Amazon, and they ship it out for me. That's how you get Prime uh, shipping. Oh, okay. It's two-day sense. shipping. That makes sense. Now, Amazon doesn't flag you for that if they have their product at all. You don't get flags. You don't have a limit on your first month, from what I understand, because you're they're shipping the product. You don't. Have, they they don't yeah. have to work. They know you're not scamming people. Like you literally yeah. purchased up front. So how how would you suggest someone to? that's starting this how would you suggest to get into it to be like yeah. hey how do i i want to do this it sounds cool how do i get into it yeah yeah so to really get into this i would go and start researching and start on shopify drop shipping and start learning how to do it and stay away from facebook ads at first many people do facebook ads and lose thousands of dollars at first which is good to fail I think you're going to fail. Um, 99% of people will fail. 99% of people will never make it work. How about you? So the point where you're at, is there anything that would make you fail right now? Is there any reason why you'd fail? Yes. If I, don't, if I fuck up and sell too much, that's why like last night, all I did was manage inventory, manage uh, profits. If I, keep, if I add one more product... I know for sure I'll, I'll be able to do almost two grand a day. But you don't have the you don't have the net income. To, I don't have to buy the shit yeah. I don't have the it, liquid capital like just money to just chunk into it with and that could fail me because if I don't deliver the orders in a certain amount of time, my Amazon account's done. I feel like you're at the point where ninety percent of people who are in it for the money instead of doing it because they love it would quit. Yeah. Because no one ever thinks of like. Oh, I'm going to be making money, but I can't make more than yeah, this amount yeah. of money. Everybody wants to make a shitload of money, but I mean, you physically can't. Yeah, exactly. If you had like 10,000 in the bank, you could though, right? No. No. No, like okay. that's the thing I am struggling. Like right now, I know. Here's the thing. So wait, why couldn't you have 10 grand in the bank? If you had 10 grand in the bank, could you sell more or no? No, only because you need to fly under the radar with, for the first month. So you do too much, you're like, okay, you're a scam, shut you down. They don't say you're a scam. They go through a long process that could take months to get your money. Oh fuck! That, yeah. That's so they don't they they don't works. shut down yeah. your account instantly. You have to go through a process. And there's actually a guy I'm talking to right now that just got out of his process, and then he just got a paycheck for twenty three thousand dollars for what Amazon held God from him. God damn! Wow. He bro. does he that does suck, well. But I mean, I wouldn't complain at twenty three grand all at once. Well, you got to think oh. how much of that is his profit. He's been fulfilling orders. Oh, yeah, twenty three grand shit. waiting. That's not twenty three grand in profit. Nope. That's twenty grand to fill the borders out. I, I don't know his profit margins. We don't really. No, we talked about profit margins today, and so far I have the highest profit margins in the entire group. So you like from what you've seen? Yeah, I'm very strict on the products I sell. You know, most of them were saying, "Oh, well, I'll take you know any sale. I'll make you know fifty cents a sale." To me, that never made sense. I rather if I make a sale, I know I'm making money. I rather make right. really good money per sale. And then, you know, make 50 cents. I'd rather, here's the thing. Most, what? Here's what? what most people do. They flaunt the numbers. Okay. They, they show $10,000 a day in sales, but will make, you know, 100 bucks, which is great. I'm not which saying making $100. Cool, but, it looks cool. Yeah, but, but, they, they, but, but they're flexing. They're flexing. Yeah. I, I'm not trying to flex here. I'm trying to build an actual business. And one of my dreams is to do e-commerce and have an actual e-commerce business and to make it successful and to be able to help other people. I'm not sitting here trying to flex numbers. I'm not sitting here trying to show off like, oh, I'm making seven hundred dollars a day. Not trying to show off as he wears a Supreme hoodie. It's a fake Supreme hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'll never buy a real Supreme hoodie. <laughs> but fake ones, I, just, I thought they're kind of cool. I was walking the beach and then I saw the shop that had fake Supreme hoodies. So I was like, yeah, I gotta buy one of those in a heartbeat. That's as well. Fuck Supreme. I mean, we love Supreme sponsor us <laughs> pretty much. All right, uh, so should we should we wrap it up for now? And I mean, we're at thirty six minutes. 36. Yeah. That All feels right. like a pretty good length. Yeah, I think we're good for this. Um, so today was kind of just your introduction. Did tomorrow yeah, probably do yeah. mine or yours, and then we'll move on from there. Uh, any closing statements? Anything we say before? Um, we yeah, before yeah. We I got one question. Yeah, for yeah you. go ahead. C- crazy, crazy big scale question. No. End game. Yeah. Where do you want to be? Yeah, yeah. I actually no. I actually had to think about the strategy and write down literally my end game tonight. I mean tonight, last night. I, I literally wrote everything down. 
So here's my exact plan. I actually have a step-by-step plan of what I'm going to do. So right now, I'm sitting at $700 a day in sales. That is, I don't want to give a wrong number. I'm not going to say number in profit right now. Obviously not $700 in profit. But I'm making decent money right now. And since I only get paid out every two weeks, my goal, or my goal actually was to do only three to $4,000 in sales by the end of January. I'll hit that next week. Wow. With ease. I'll hit that Damn. this weekend. T- technically, I'll hit that this weekend, but I'm hoping I don't, which sounds, so this sounds bad. So I went from, here's the crazy part. You can see on my chart, on December 5th, I went to bed with $0 in sales. I woke up the next day and was going through the day and did o- almost, I did $960 in sales. It's Holy almost crap. Thousand overnight, thousand. overnight, yeah. I went from 0 to m- I went from zero worrying about how to make a sale to having trouble fulfilling orders. Now, how long was that after the praying I don't get more launch of the store? Like, did the store sit there for a bit and then you started getting sales? No, was it like launch and then I launched on December fourth. Okay, and I made two sales. I actually cried when I made my first sale. (laughs) (laughs) I had a tear in my eye because I felt I felt real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of happiness, it felt real. That's that's three years of work. I literally, it was a thirty dollars sale. All right, well, let's try to wrap this up now. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, thanks for tuning in for our episode. If you guys, if you liked what you heard, we post every Sunday at 2 p.m. Central on all platforms, so whatever you have, you know, fucking iTunes or Should be on podcast sites, iTunes, Spotify. Spotify. We're Apple. putting it on YouTube. YouTube. We're going to do clicks. Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to do little clips on little Instagram. Clips on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, be, we'll basically yeah, be We're everywhere. putting it everywhere. So uh, just type in the Undirected Podcast. That is T-H-E-U-N-D-I-R-E-C-T-E-D Podcast, Undirected um, find us on all those platforms. Uh, follow us on Instagram to stay up to date. That's where we're going to post most of our updates. Um, and thanks for joining us.